All right, we've installed ourselves a Arch Linux system. It still doesn't say it, so why not just uh, oh, first get our keyboard uh, sorted out. Um, since I am living in Belgium, we have uh, an Azerty keyboard. So the keyboard thing is here. Um, the layout is there. Let's make this bigger. Add me a proper layout. You system defaults out. I need to have Belgian things. Okay, so English is out. Belgian is in. Nothing to save or apply. That's for Plasma. And I have Azerti. Sudo Pacman minus S. And then we go for NeoFetch. That was what I was thinking. And now we can show you guys what system we are on. So that's it. Then um, this tool. This tool. At this point in time, the tool is located at the place. What am I doing? It's located at the place to test, right? Pseudo Pacman minus S Firefox. Well, we'll give it the proper place. And what will be the proper place? That's the download section on Article Nix Info. So let's go have a look where it will come and then go to where it is now. So when you type Arco Linux, let's see what Google brings us. We give here the very first and the very uh, most important one. If you don't know what Arco Linux is, you go to first to Arco Linux Info, Info, Information, right? So here, all info is, is available for you guys. But if you want to learn more stuff, then it's all here. So the downloads, the documents will come in here and it's well, I have to fix this thing. I have bent myself. I'll have to check why that is as a rule there. So this thing, download documents, is where it's going to be. And let's see if it's still, well, okay, that's all right then. Hmm, strange why this is not blocked. Anyway, go to seat host, go in there. I'm going to go level up. And it's still at this point in time in the repo, in the testing repo. So I'm going to get it from there. It's called Article Linux Spices. So I'll download it later on. If everything is working, it's going to get its proper place on the website. And then let's install this. So open terminal here. sudo pacman minus s uh, u. Why you? Uh, remember the word you. You downloaded it, you will install it. It's up to you to install it, right? So that's the you, meaning it's local. Install something that's not from coming from the servers, it's coming from your downloaded package, right? So that's done. Article Link Spices is installed, don't need that. So somewhere in, in here is gonna be Spices. And um, here it is, Article Link Spices. And when we run it, we get things to do. We can add trust Article Linux key, but, and it's as told, I've put behind it, it takes a while. Now, there are two ways to show it, either in a black box, so click, 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 done. Or I can show you in a more educational way, which you shouldn't do. I mean, don't run this like that. It's not, well, it's not uh, meant to run like this. But the thing is, when I run it like this, it's going to be very educational. Each time I press something, something's going to happen and show and show up here. So you know what's going to happen to your system. That's maybe important, but I'm going to show you as well. This thing is not going to show something, well, not going to um, have a result. Let's see what's happening already. You see, I have, have already a problem. So, fix key server connection for step one. I have a problem. I can't do this. Remote key not fetched correctly from key server. Could not be locally signed. Okay. So, I need to have my step two here. And since we're now started with the terminal, from the terminal, I get the password in the terminal. Otherwise, you'll get a nice pop-up saying, what's your password? So, your root, well, admission to become root. 
and here key servers which uh, with ports have been added to both your gpg.conf. So in order to fix my issue, that's a personal issue, I know I have this issue on my system, in my part of the world with my internet service provider, I need to do this. Now what happened in fix, this fix thing there? Two things. I have to tell the system, GNU PG, that in here I have servers, but I need to define a particular port. And these three guys are making sure that if this one fails, the other one will work and so on, right? So with these three, I will have no issues whatsoever with Arch Linux on my particular piece of the world. And here as well, we have a pacman.d and also a GNU PG and in there as well, gpg.conf, I've added three lines. That's it. So you know what happened in the back end in the pressing the button there. So I'm going to try this one again. And here you see the pop-up. And here we have, well, some gibberish, but this is happening in the end. And that's why I said it takes a while because all the keys are coming from the internet. And it always depends. And uh, you'll see other videos when we get these keys. Sometimes it's very fast and other times it's like minutes that we have to wait till everything is in. But the thing is, see if the text is here, article X key trust it it ends with that line so you know that's done so this line is done we've had to do this one first before that i had to do that maybe you don't so check it out and then we have the article Linux repos so this is the key the key from eric dubois is now in your system from arch linux and it's trusted because we sign our packages so you know that the package you get is not corrupted it's not from somewhere that somebody else Okay, add Arch Linux repos. What's going to happen if you want to add repos to your Arch Linux system? It's going to be an etc pacman.conf. Right? In here is just Arch. Arch, Arch, Arch. We're going to add some more stuff to it. We see something happen here. You see something happening here. So if we reload, and I think I need to double click it again, we see here all the repos. So new repos have been added, that's new. And when you type control T and sudo pacman minus S Y Y U, you get everything in, but also the ones from Arch Linux with the signing, right? So the key. So basically, I can install, I can show you already, I can install, is that an O? Not sure. I don't like the font in there. Um, yeah, so Arch Linux, and then you press twice on tab. 149 possibilities. We have 149 packages at this point in time for you to install. Okay, so you just decide which pieces of our Lego box you would like to play with, basically. And um, in our Bash RC, we have, um, I'm gonna turn these two around, I think. If you want to use the Bash RC from us, then watch out because we're gonna replace yours. In my case, it's a virtual machine, so it's empty. It's uh, really rubbish, actually. The Bash RC, standard Bash RC is just this, right? Well, fine. But um, when we press this button here, get the latest Bash RC, replace current one. It ends with your Bash RC has been overwritten with the Linux Bash RC. So it ends up with this one. An update is there, a poll is there, and everything is going to work, right? But in the Bash RC, there are applications we use like Reflector and others. So if you want to use the Bash RC and all the aliases, you also need to install the software that it contains. So that's done now. So Reflector is in there and other things, unless we have problems with the mirrors. That's something else that's not related to this um, application or so. So we'll see. Well, actually, I can Ctrl-Alt this and do a rip. 
see if whip rip works. So it has been installed. So whatever the errors down here are, we have YouTube installed, reflector is installed for our mirror, HW info is installed, and for rip we have X pack. Otherwise, this wouldn't have worked. So everything worked fine, nothing, no problems. But like I said, maybe I'll switch these around. So if you decide to have a bash RC, you also need uh, applications that we use in the bash RC. And that's it. We have our spices in. So we have an application that just transforms your Arch Linux into an Arch Linux any way you see fit. So if you say, I really like this up here, fine. But if you say then maybe I would like to have the sudo pacman minus s and then Arch Linux, and then you can take a look at our cheat sheet. Is it still open? So in, in here, there's a download, also a cheat sheet and you can decide to get stuff like i'm gonna get the xfce settings for from our clinics so that one i'm gonna get and so on and so on and so on so it's gonna be an etc scale remember it says so etc scale so it means it's not applied but if you type scale it's gonna be copy pasted over to your home directory and next time xfc will look differently and so on and so on so lots of applications um to say i want to have that particular lego block i want to have that piece and then you puzzle your way into arch Linux and back to the arch Linux look sometimes you you like or you miss or applications you miss and so on all right have fun using our new application called arch Linux spices cheers